Welcome! My name is Elon Midhal and I am one of the designers of Beast. Today I'm going to share you a few gameplay tips of each and every hunter character in this game. Sweet tactics and strategies you could try or get inspired by for your next session of Beast. Varya, the red cloaked huntress, spreading hate and fear against the Beast. She's the commander of your squad you've been searching for your entire life. Varya really shines when she is positioned as one of the first hunters in turn order due to her ability Command. Command lets her move both a hunter and a settler in her zone one step. There is a golden rule in Beast that a hunter can never move more than two steps then follow up with a search and attack on their own turn. So if you can help another hunter get that extra step on your turn instead of their own, that is extremely strong if they play it at the right moment. Another great tip with Varya is that command can be combined with the item Hunter's Passage. Hunter's Passage lets you transform your location and move to another settlement. If the beast is closing in on a settlement and you can feel it deep down where your arms used to be, that an attack on a settler is coming, then it's time to play this combo. First, you play Hunter's Passage and get to the troubled town. Then you play Command and move that poor settler to another location out of harm's way and maybe move another hunter closer. You now swooped in, saved the day and brought some time for you and your team of hunters and can now more easily whip that little beast butt. Playing this combo with Hunter's Passage instead of the action card Adapt means that Adapt can go to another hunter during the draft and you will be a very movable as a team. If you're feeling extra brave, remember that settlers also find trails. Moving a settler one step with command can be an aggressive way of searching for the beast in the early game. Just be careful that you don't lure away too many settlers from the cozy and protective homes. She can feel what the beast feels and catch a glimpse of what it has seen. Helga is deeply connected to nature and possesses the ability Seer, which reveals the last movement card played by the beast. There is a famous quote from Helga, knowledge is power, and that is so true in Beast. Helga should always be seated as the first hunter, even if you have Asa or Varya on your team. Being able to see the last movement the beast has made is so incredibly powerful. With that tip, obviously you understand why the upgrade Soothsayer is amazing. So instead, let me share a tip on another upgrade, Ancient Bond. It allows all the hunters to use their ability track as a reaction whenever the beast attacks. A reaction means that a card can be played when a specific action triggers it. This will provide you and your fellow beast killer club friends with an excellent opportunity to catch up with a soon to be dead beast. Furthermore, it can serve as an effective method to evade an incoming attack from the beast. Cards like Dark Rituals and Dark Dealings are super valuable for hunters, but they make you suffer wounds. A wounded hunter can be a quick and easy target for the beast, but with Ancient Bond unlocked you can dodge any attack from the beast and position yourself to put a spear to that beast's heart. Who's laughing now? Karma's beast. Krim, everyone's favorite tech-savvy superstar. Krim excels at card advantage. In Beast, every card represents an action and the more actions you have, the more likely you are to succeed. Krim is all about items, gaining them, playing them and giving them to other hunters. He really benefits from playing cards that give you items such as Bolster or Adapt. When choosing characters, Krim is a great pick against beasts who are good at transforming and have their ability cards locked behind their preferred habitat. Placing traps is a good way to control the board and force the beast to make suboptimal moves. If you see a trap face up next to the item deck, don't take it right away. Instead, top deck will never possible in search of a different trap. If you do manage to find a different trap, you can later play Trapmaster to pick up the face up trap card, but choose to play another trap in your hand. The beast will likely believe that the trap you played was the face up card. Bluffing like this can really mess with the beast to plan around the wrong trap. With Crim's many traps on board and items in hand, you're sure to catch a nice big beast for tonight's feast. 
I hope you learned something new about playing as a hunter. Huge thanks to our Discord community for sharing their best tips. Keep them coming and we can all improve together. So please share your best gameplay tips and they can be included in upcoming videos as this game just goes deeper and you discover more strategies the more you play Beast. You have heard right that there is currently a crowdfunding campaign of a reprint of Beast and its expansion Shiles! We got so much freaking cool stuff. Miniatures, acrylics, mini expansion called the Great Hunt and so much more. Thank you for watching. See you next time.